five heavy like a runway two five left right to line number two following heavy heavy or bush three mile one. Okay, number two. Hello everyone. Zach here from Real Sim Gear. Today we will be going over the installation process for FSX Steam Edition on Windows 10. It's a little bit more involved than our X-Plane installation. Um, there's some manual things you need to do, unlike the X-Plane installation process, which is all pretty much done automatically through the X-Plane installer. The first thing that uh, you want to do to get this process started is make sure that your 430, your 530, whatever device that it is you are using, that you have it all plugged in and connected. Uh, you'll want to go to our website at realsimgear.com and go to setup. And in the setup page, you're going to want to go to setup guides and you're going to want to scroll down to whatever device you have. Today we'll be setting up the GNS 430 and you'll see here it says download the download and install real sim gear plugin for your flight simulation software. So we're going to click on FSX. Now it takes us to another page for FSX. Um, it talks about the different programs that you'll need to eventually get. So either Reality XP uh, or Mindstar, depending on which device you have. You'll see the second section here. There's two different uh, plugins that you have options to. You have the FSX Steam Edition, and the FSX Boxed Edition slash Deluxe Edition. Today we're going to be doing the Steam Edition. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you'll see it'll download a zip folder. We're going to stay on this page for now because it does have some of this code that we will need to copy and paste into a certain file. Okay. So what you'll want to do is open the zip file that it has installed. And I like to put my, uh, my plugins into, or not my plugins, but my add-ons for FSX into the FSX folder. So from here, we will just drag this real sim gear file into the FSX folder, and you'll see there it is. The next thing you'll want to do is you're going to need to tell Flight Simulator to launch the plugin. And to do that, you'll need to go to your app data folder. So from here, you could click on the window search uh, and then type in here, it's per percentage app data percentage. From here, you'll want to go to Microsoft FSX, and you'll see there'll be a file in here um, that's called exe.xml. You'll click on that. And we'll wait for this to load and here's the default file that comes with FSX Steam Edition. You'll want to go back to our website and you'll see this block of code here. Go ahead and highlight this, right click and click copy and I actually will just delete the entire thing here. Um, so there we go. You'll see uh, real sim gear. Now this path part is important. So this is the default path, or this is the path that is just in that code. What you'll want to do is find the true or the path location that you moved it to. So if you moved it to inside your FSX folder, you'll want to go there. You'll find real sim gear. And you can even right click and click properties. And I think you can... okay, you can't copy all of that. But you'll see it's trying to launch this real sim gear 
Exe. So we'll actually just click up here, right click, copy, and everything after this exe file, we're gonna delete. Even the uh, this part where it says C. Um, so you'll see, it'll, it's trying to launch the from the F drive, Steam library, Steam apps, common, FSX, the real sim gear folder, and then the real sim gear exe path. And we'll go ahead and save that. Now you can close all this. You won't actually need to open any of the exe file, that exe file ahead of time. Um, it's it's going to be automatically launched when you run Flight Simulator. So we'll go ahead and launch Flight Sim. And we'll wait for this loading process. It's going to ask if we want to uh, allow the real sim gear program to be started and ran. And you can see it's reflecting the file location that it's in. We're going to click on yes. And then you should be good to go. We'll go ahead and test it here. We'll load it into a Cessna at real sim gears home airport, which is in Montgomery field. And then we will click play now. Okay. So then you'll see this add ons menu here. Click on that, and you should have Real Sim Gear device interface. You'll see your connected devices here Real Sim Gear 430, COM3. And as we make inputs into the device, you'll see. Uh, you'll see the reflecting or the corresponding buttons and knobs and whatnot. As always, if you have any questions with the setup process, feel free to go to our website and contact us at the bottom right, and one of us will get back to you. Thank you, and happy flight simming.